In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. As we gather today, we celebrate the feast of the transfiguration of the Lord. So we uh, know, know the event of Jesus' glory being revealed. So we seek um, moments of glimpsing that glory and splendor of God in our life. We prepare for these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sin. We ask God for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And on this feast day, we'll recite the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship, kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Responsorial Psalm, the Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice and all people see his glory. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. 
because you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as to a lamp shining in a dark place until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Jesus, then Peter, said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we celebrate today the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord, it invites us in some sense to look to the past. So from the prophet Daniel, seeing maybe visions of the ancient one sitting on the throne with the myriads and thousands ministering to him, or even in the gospel account of the transfiguration, where we hear Jesus there gathered with Moses and Elijah. You know, and we're maybe reminded of Moses and as he led the Israelites out, out of, out of um, slavery in, in Egypt, and as he had the, the, the opportunity to encounter God in, in the meeting tent, 
and, and at first, and it was like after he would spend time with it, he would come out, and his face was like so bright. People weren't, weren't quite sure what, 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 who he was or what was going on, so he had to start wearing a veil. You know, so it's just some of those images that certainly um, draw us back to the past and recognizing how God was a part of that journey of the Israelites throughout the, the ages. Um, and so, so we're, we're, we're drawn to that. But also um, we know that Jesus, uh, commentators and scholars will say that this uh, experience of the transfiguration of seeing the, the glory of Jesus revealed and hearing the voice of God say, this is my beloved son, listen to him, that that was um, a source of, of help and inspiration for those apostles as not too far down the road, they would experience the tragedy of the crucifixion and death. So looking forward to that, that and somehow giving them hope and promise even in the midst of, of that trial and, and uh, uncertainty. Certainly for us, that's um, often a part of our reality as well. You know, as we think about our past, the ways that faith has been planted in us, ways that we've encountered God, maybe in the sacraments here in church or some majestic moment looking out over some sunset or, or mountain or, or something of that nature. You know, just ways that we've encountered God in our own life, you know, as well as we continue on recognizing that life is full of of uncertainties and trials, but also gifts and blessings. So it offers us uh, again and again that assurance that somehow God is in the midst of that, and, and that in the end, even the cross cannot defeat Christ. You know, so, so in, in, in the end, there, there really is that, that hope um, that as we are united with the Lord, that hope that, that, that he will lead us through whatever things we, we experience in life and, and always give us that, um, that blessing, that image of, 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 of the hope that is offered to us in him. Another thing that struck me in the readings today was in the, in the second reading that it's from the letter of St. Peter. So one is he speaks about being an eyewitness, you know, and so we think about Peter and those early disciples and how they became the ones who simply told what they what they knew and saw in Jesus, you know, that they proclaimed that faith and that from that it spread and grew. And I thought, gee, how important is that in our day that we can continue to somehow, you know, be, be assured of, of, of faith, you know, through those ways that God is revealed to us and that, gee, can we speak about that? I mean, that's like, that's so needed in our world, right? For people to be able to hear, it's like, yeah, I may not be able to make sense of everything, but somehow, you know, I know God is present like a bright light in a dark room, you know, and so that maybe we find ways to not just talk about our fears or the coronavirus or the weather, or, you know, but somehow that we also talk about the gift of faith and of God's life and blessing within us. So that may there be many ways that we hear the, the voice of the Lord, that he's revealed to us, and that, that, that fills us with hope and confidence in him and that we also might be instruments of proclaiming that beauty and glory of God reflected in us and in our world. Gracious and ever-living God, we gather in your presence grateful for the gift of our faith and the hope and inspiration that that offers us always. With trust in you, we offer now our prayers. So we pray for the church throughout the world, for our Holy Father and all who um, lead us in the church in these days, for wisdom and courage and blessing upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, an, an increase in vocations, that men and women will be open to God's call. We pray maybe especially for priests who are starting or into first month into new assignments. May God um, guide them in, in their ministry and, and work in serving the church. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our president and world leaders. Might they find ways to bring about unity and, and, um, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who live in darkness or are in a dark place in their life. May, um, may, may the, the glory and beauty of God be revealed to them and enlighten their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for parents and, and children and families these days, for um, blessings and guidance upon them of how to um, be safe and go on with life and still um, have confidence and, and assurance in the goodness of God and of people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, people um, who suffer from diseases and, and Ill illnesses, especially members of our parish and families, others who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all Catholic and Christian people. Might we be blessed in our efforts to evangelize, to uh, proclaim the, the goodness and the glory of Christ in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, especially we remember Bob Lehman. May he and all the faithful departed know of eternal glory with Jesus and the saints in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause to remember your own prayers. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we give thanks for the ways you have inspired us in, in, in the past, and we look for your continued guidance and blessing in our lives. We ask that you hear our prayers and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings have offerings here made to celebrate 
the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sinai in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sinai in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church 
and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop, the Order of, Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those 
called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in the glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.